Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jailene. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another anti-haul. I feel like 2018 is putting out so many new releases and it is honestly overwhelming me. Sometimes I walk into Sephora, they have like, when you walk in, like this entire display of a bunch of new things. And usually what they have is a bunch of palettes. And I walked in today and they had like seven new palettes. I guess I will start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. It's $42. The reason why I'm not buying this palette is because personally this is just too neutral for me. Recently I've been noticing that I've been loving colorful eyeshadows. I mean that's all I've been buying. And I saw that this palette has some repeat shades, one of them being Tempera, and that's in the Modern Renaissance palette. It also has Burnt Orange, which I think isn't also in the Modern Renaissance palette. Cypress Umber, which is also in the Modern Renaissance. And honestly, the only shades that I liked in this were the shimmery shades, but then I swatched the shades in the Tarte. Be a Mermaid and Make Waves palette side by side, because the palettes were right next to each other. These colors are almost identical to the shimmery shades that I really liked in the Soft Glam palette. So I decided to get this one instead of the Soft Glam palette. I'm not really interested in the Soft Glam palette. I feel like it's just 50 shades of more brown that I don't need. So next I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Distortion palette. If I'm going to be quite honest with you, the only reason I really wanted this palette was because of the blue the orange and the distortion shades which is the entire first row. They're pretty much used as eyeshadow toppers. You're supposed to put them on top of another eyeshadow and it can transform or distort how it looks. I got it because it was on sale. It was on the weekly wow. It was like half off. It was about $25 and when I received it, I was very disappointed. If you have the Urban Decay Electric and the Urban Decay After Dark palette, you do not need this palette. These have almost the same exact colors and also the swatches online are not accurate. The blue and the orange, which were the colors that I was the most excited for, are not pigmented at all. You really gotta build them up. They're not smooth and buttery. They're very hard. I don't know, I was just not liking that palette. So I returned it when I saw that, well actually I exchanged it when I saw that the Chris and Leanne palette was on sale. I'm not gonna be rebuying the Distortion palette and I do not recommend you buy it either because that palette was just trash. And it's $48 now, it's not even on sale anymore. The Natasha Denona Tropic palette. The reason why I'm not buying the Natasha Denona Tropic palette is because this palette seems like it's very colorful, but if you just remove the bottom row, this is just a neutral palette. Like there, there is nothing new about this palette. There is nothing special in this palette and I can't justify this palette for $129. So the next palette I am not buying and it makes me very sad because I was really excited for this palette is the Too Faced White Peach palette. I don't like that there is shimmer in it. I actually really liked the Just Peachy Mattes because it was all mattes. I thought, well except for one shade, one shade was like more like a satin, but I thought that palette was amazing. We all know that the Too Faced Glitter Infused shadows are trash. Like, they are awful. We already have the white chocolate bar, which is a pastel palette. But why did they think we needed two pastel palettes? We don't need two Too Faced. Next palette is by Becca. This is the Ocean Jewels eyeshadow palette. I'm pretty sure Becca had like the a uh, pre ski, a uh, press ski, I don't know what it's called. I have the face palette for that. A uh, press ski glow base palette. I actually really like this palette. They came out with an eyeshadow palette when that came out. They came out with another one and honestly $35 for this little palette. I mean no. I'm just not no. I'm not interested. I don't want it. The only color I think is pretty in here is the purple, but I do not wear purple eyeshadow. Purple is the one color I hate wearing unless I mix it with reds, pinks, or oranges or or golds and other other warm tones. Like I, I do not like wearing purple smoky eyes. I just don't want it. So next is another palette, but it's not an eyeshadow palette. The Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palette. The citrus one specifically. I'm what is that yellow? Like neon green yellow shade. Like what is that? That is not is that supposed to be a highlighter? I mean it says glow. Who who would look good? With that, I mean, that's like the color of my shirt. I don't think that color will look good on anyone. Next thing that I'm not going to be purchasing is the Halo Beauty Supplements. And I do not want to trash on Tati. I just don't take supplements. Like, honestly, I feel like 
this product is a gimmick. I don't think it's actually gonna work. The only supplements I really take, or, or vitamins, I guess, are like vitamin C, vitamin A, like vitamin B, B12. I don't take anything for like hair, skin, nails. I don't need this. If this type of product really intrigues you, then by all means, buy it. But I personally am not gonna be getting that. So the next product I'm not gonna be getting is the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in Golden Mint. Becca? <laughs> Y'all need to stop coming out with a bunch of highlighters. They came out with the Light Chaser highlighters and they didn't do as well, which is why they've been on half off for like months. I feel like they just recently came out with that like bronzy shade. I don't remember the name of it. I'm just gonna write it right here. Before that, they came out with Lilac Geode and I just feel like they need to stop coming out with so many highlighters. I don't know what is up with brands lately. It's like brands are competing with who can put out more products in less amount of time. Next thing I'm not gonna be buying are just honestly any of the new releases by ColourPop. ColourPop has been putting out way too many things. I can't keep up. I feel like they just came out with the lipsticks and now they've come out with like four different sets. Like they have the Pretty Fly set, the New Theory set, the Butterfly collection, like a bunch of trios and like I I can't do it. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? I feel like there are so many palettes I just don't want. I am not, and I repeat, not getting the Too Faced new natural, natural matte, natural eyes palettes, like the, the revamped bulky ones. I love my Too Faced natural matte palette. I was debating between that one and the Kat Von D shade and light palette because I needed more transition shades in my collection a long time ago, like two years ago. And I decided to get the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I love that palette. Whenever a palette doesn't have like any transition shades, I'm just gonna use this as an example. I don't have any transition shades in here, I just go to that palette. It has a great formula and now they've changed it and I, I'm not, no, no, I just won't buy it. Next thing is a drugstore product. This is the Maybelline. I don't even know what these are called. Matte metallic lipsticks. What? Is that really what they're called? Matte metallic. That's an interesting name. I'm not going to be getting those lipsticks because I think they're a little too bold for me. I don't wear green, blue lipstick. I'm perfectly fine with red and purple. I also just don't like metallic anything on my lips. I have a pretty vulgar lipstick that is lipstick, lip gloss that is metallic, and I only wear that when I'm like in a certain mood. But yeah, I'm not gonna be getting those lipsticks. Finally, the last product I will not be buying. Actually, one of the three might be a maybe. I'm not really sure because I feel like they just kind of stole Max idea. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have not tried the original. I love my MAC Fix Plus. I've used the MAC Fix Plus is definitely my favorite. They have the rose, the lavender, and the coconut one. And Smashbox has citrus, serene greens, and they have a coconut one. So I might get the coconut. The green one is a definite no. Like, I'm not buying that green one. The coconut is a maybe, and the citrus is... I'm definitely leaning towards no. I'd have to smell it to see if I like it. That's it for this anti-haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!